Hi gamers! This collection update video is a very special one to me because I got one of my collecting all-time holy grails finally in my possession. Uh, stay tuned for the end of the video what that is. I got a mixed bag of games here mostly for Nintendo um, but first, uh, well, this is, isn't a purchase or any, anything, it isn't even a donation, uh, but, uh, you know, Club Nintendo stopped working uh, like two years ago, or was it three, uh, I can't remember, maybe two, and, uh, uh, you know, Club, Club Nintendo had some pretty nice uh, physical uh, wares that you could redeem after you input uh, codes from games you've bought. And uh, you know me, I got plenty of Nintendo games, and uh, but sadly, the Club Nintendo, the rewards weren't available to Finland at any point. Uh, but you know, I had all the all these points, and I could have gotten uh, a great deal of uh, uh, of uh, of the rewards there. Uh, you know, some pretty uh, nice collectibles and rare stuff there. So it was a bit of a shame that they didn't uh, make it available to Finland. Uh, but uh, uh, I did what uh, <laughs> what I could do, uh, make up a fake uh, profile there and started to collect the points. But when it, when it was time to redeem them, I needed uh, uh, an address in the UK to, re to receive them. And uh, I uh, uh, reached out to a viewer that I knew was from the UK and uh, he hooked me up before. Uh, for with uh, one package but then it was, it was time for a second package and uh, I ordered them to him and uh, nothing happened <laughs> he vanished uh, uh, and I, I to be fair I was kind of uh, fearing the worst there uh, but uh, I finally got uh, a hold a hold of him now two years later and uh, it, you know he just had forgotten them and uh, he sent them to me now and uh, so here are the uh, stuff that David Campbell uh, sent me very kindly. Uh, I got here uh, two sets of uh, coasters, Super Mario themed coasters. These are uh, thick, heavy duty uh, vinyl coasters, Qu uh, the question block and a fire flower. There were other um, designs as well. Sadly, I didn't have enough points to get them all, but this is uh, still a nice set and I also got a Game & Watch ball. Uh, this is the Nintendo re-release of the classic Game & Watch. I actually had one of these before. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, at least in my, my opinion, this is by far was the best uh, reward that Club Nintendo had. So uh, I got one earlier and I got a second one now. Uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna sell the first one. It's in a slightly worse condition, but uh, nice to have this in better condition now. And uh, also got here for uh, registering my Wii U and 3DS versions of Super Smash Brothers. I got the uh, uh, soundtrack CD here, two CDs worth of music. And uh, yeah, David Campbell who uh, has his uh, own uh, YouTube channel as well, uh, Satchman2000, and uh, he has some pretty nice uh, retro gaming memories videos. Check out David's uh, channel from the link in the description below. So thanks a lot. Uh, I don't even mind. It took two years to get these. Uh, thanks a lot for helping me out with uh, something that uh, Nintendo couldn't provide for me <laughs> otherwise. Thanks a lot. And uh, then uh, it's uh, it's been a while now, but we got a new Wii U game. And uh, when I mean new, it's uh, actually a, a new release. Uh, Cars 3 Driven to Win was released on the Wii U as well. So, of course, I got that. Then I did an unboxing of this earlier. Uh, here we have Hollow Knight, the Indie Box Collector's Edition. If you uh, like to subscribe to Indie Box, check out my affiliate link in the video description.
and then some 3DS games. I got uh, Dr. Kawashima's Devilish Brain Training. Uh, brain Training was one of the, uh, uh, you know, was it a launch game on the original DS? If not, it was very close to to the launch of, of the console. And to me, uh, Brain Training was you know, a DS defining game. It was something something different, something, uh, uh, you know, so lifestyle, uh, uh, lifestyle alike from Nintendo, which we haven't really seen before. And uh, yeah, it was it was a fun fun game. I I, I did uh, train my brain with this, and it's uh, it's gonna be fun to try trying out this uh, uh, this uh, new uh, new version of the game where you're you know you're distracted with all sorts of uh, uh, devilish uh, things. Uh, this is not uh, Satoru Iwata uh, in the uh, cover here. Somebody uh, believes it is, uh, and uh, they thought, uh, you know, having him red-faced and as the as the devil is uh, was a, a bit of a in uh, in bad taste. But it's of course Doctor Kawashima, as the name of the game suggests. Uh, also got Metopia. Haven't tried that game yet. And lastly, for the 3DS, I got Hey Pikmin. I'm a really big Pikmin fan. I've played all three uh, of the home console versions uh, to complete completion. And uh, yeah, it, uh, when I first saw videos of Hey Pikmin, I was, you know, a bit uh, uh, hesitant. You know, I, I would have preferred a full-on Pikmin 4. Uh, but uh, once you start playing this, you you kind of see that it's uh, even though it's it's definitely not the same, uh, it does have a place uh, in the 3ds library and the Pikmin uh, Pikmin universe. It's uh, I love the visuals and of course Pikmin, uh, you know the sounds, uh, music. It's everything is top notch and uh, this definitely feels like a Pikmin game, even though it's uh, it's not. Uh, a real-time strategy game like the previous ones as such. It's, it has uh, uh, light platforming and uh, puzzle solving and uh, it's, it's, it's a really great game. I love Hey Pikmin. And uh, then uh, uh, before we get to my holy grail of course I gotta talk about Splatoon 2. Uh, Splatoon 1 was uh, a surprise hit and uh, I'm really glad that Nintendo, uh, you know, decided to spearhead uh, the Switch with uh, a sequel here. Of course, it's it's more of the same, uh, just uh, refined. Uh, nothing, nothing too drastic here. But I think that's you know what what people want, especially when it's only the second game in the series. You don't want to go too crazy there, alienate any of the fans uh, that you have, and you have a lot. You know, Japan is just crazy with Splatoon. Um, you know, Splatoon 2. It has uh, uh, more of the uh, much loved uh, multiplayer uh, mayhem. Uh, but uh, it also has a single-player cam campaign that's t totally different than the first game. And, you know, I, I just like the fact that it's, you know, like five, six, seven hours long. Uh, you know, you can just... Uh, it's it's a refreshing change of pace uh, to all the huge uh, epic uh, single-player games that uh, I have, have been playing, most notably Zelda. And uh, just a nice, fresh, uh, little bite-sized game and uh, uh, tight levels, uh, some really great platforming, some light uh, puzzle solving as well, and of course great controls for the actual shooting, which is the meat of the game. And uh, yeah, you got Salmon Run here, which is uh, the uh, biggest uh, or the major improvement uh, when it comes to you know, uh, gameplay modes over the first game, like a, like a horde mode. And uh, yeah, uh, of course Platoon 2 is an essential purchase if you have a Switch. And now we get to the actual good stuff that I was uh, promising earlier. 
uh, but quite <laughs> before I show you my Holy Grail game I got here uh, one game for the same platform as that game and that's of course Neo Geo AES I got here King of Fighters 2000 uh, King of Fighters 2000 is the only game that has its uh, uh, on the Neo Geo that has the horizontal uh, cover here I think it's pretty cool great cover art here and uh, yeah I got this uh, again like with the previous Neo Geo games that I had I got uh, a chance to buy this locally here in Finland so I uh, had to get it uh, you don't get too many chances to purchase uh, Neo Geo games uh, without you know postage uh, costs customs and uh, all that and uh, yeah now I have how many King of Fighters games I have on I got six out of the ten that have been released on the Neo Geo so four more to go and then finally we get to Garou Mark of the Wolves uh, Garou is uh, part of the Fatal Fury series but it's uh, totally revamped uh, all sprites have been redrawn and uh, there's only one uh, character that has been in previous Fatal Fury games. All other you know, characters in the roster are new. Uh, this is of course a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, like many are uh, on the Neo Geo. But this is uh, this is the uh, crown jewel of fighting games on the Neo Geo, in my opinion, and uh, uh, in the opinion of many Neo Geo aficionados. Uh, the uh, animation is just silky smooth. Uh, there's uh, great stages, great uh, great music, great fighters, and a great fighting system uh, with uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, tactics for you to utilize. So not just uh, not just uh, learning the combos, but uh, also you know learning how to when to uh, use your supers and uh, uh, some other stuff that you can fiddle with. And uh, yeah, uh, I've uh, I've owned Garo Mark of the Wolves on the MVS, the arcade version of uh, Neo Geo. Uh, not sure if you knew, but I, I actually sold my uh, MVS cabinet. Uh, just uh, was running out of room and uh, decided to uh, go for um, the Neo Geo AES collecting more. And uh, so yeah, I have played Garo Mark of the Wolves uh, on Neo Geo a lot, but finally I got the AES version, which is... I've been uh, dreaming of owning this for a long, long time, ever since I I got into Neo Geo, like, uh, like 10, 15 years ago. And uh, yeah, I even love the color, the yellow is just so striking. It, I, I think this is one of my top five or maybe even top three uh, best video game covers ever so just so cool I'm really happy to get this and uh, like with the King of Fighters 2000 this was a local buy uh, you know I think there are like five <laughs> uh, AES and Garo Mark of the Wolves here in Finland so uh, you really don't get your, the chance to buy it that often and uh, you gotta snap it up when you get the chance, and it, this was actually dirt cheap as well. Uh, I I was I almost bought this in Japan when I visited there a few months ago, but it was like uh, uh, twelve hundred euros there. Uh, it's it's like a, a one thousand euro game, so I I couldn't really justify buying it from Japan, even though I did think about it, you know, just to uh, avoid uh, customs charges and uh, postage costs and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm lucky I didn't buy it because uh, I got this for 700 euros. And uh, yes, I did open the cartridge up and uh, check out the uh, game boards, and it's uh, it's uh, a, a legit game, not not a bootleg. Like this is this is a very bootlegged game, and Neo Geo is, uh, has lots of uh, lots of pirating, but uh, this is uh, the real deal. So really happy to get this for 700. It's a steal. Uh, and with that, uh, thanks for watching this collection update video. I'll see you next time. Bye.